right now. An emotional win for Kim Mulkey and the Lady Bears as they take the final step to the national championship. Live coverage of the 2019 Women's Final Four is brought to you by Jeff Hunter Toyota. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Imani Payne. Well, Central Texas is on fire tonight. The Baylor Lady Bears are headed to the national championship. For our continuing coverage live from Tampa, we head out to Channel 6 Sports Director Nick Canizales. Hey, Nick. Hey, Imani. Wow. This game was absolutely unbelievable. If you want a drama, we had plenty of drama. 12 ties. 12 lead changes. Jessica, I think I had a mini heart attack in there. I had about seven mini heart attacks. I'm surprised I'm alive right now. Uh, this was unbelievable. I mean, Lady Bears came out a little bit sluggish. I thought that uh, Kalani Brown didn't move her feet a little bit, but once the Lady Bears got going, they could not be stopped. Let's go to the highlights and show you what I was talking about. Of course, Lady Bears looking to punch their ticket to the Sunday's national championship game. Of course, Oregon did what Oregon does best. They came out red hot. Aaron Boley. Kim Mulkey said in her post-game press conference, she beat him with a three, and of course she did 14 points. Ducks, yeah, they were flying. Baylor would claw their way back. Lauren Cox gives them the lead at 12 to 11. Late first quarter, it's Dee Dee Richards. Inside, nice fadeaway jumper. Lady Bears led by four after one. Second quarter, Sabrina Ionesu starts to heat up, knocks down a three-pointer as the Ducks retake the lead. However, of course, Lady Bears held uh, Sabrina to 6 of 24 shooting, time winding down in the half. Ainesu for downtown plus a foul. She finished with 18 points. Ducks led by one at the break. Third quarter, Lauren Cox showing why she was named All-American. The junior would finish with 21 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists as Baylor shot 54% from the field. Under two minutes to go, Kalani Brown, huge layup there. Then under 10 seconds to go in the third, Lauren Cox. Baylor takes a 56-55 lead going into the fourth quarter. Six minutes left to go in the game. Lady Bears down three. Cox, I'll tell you what, she came up huge, especially late in the game. Big time jumper there. Baylor goes down one, 350 left. It's Brown. Nice move inside, free throw line extended. That gives Baylor the lead. 45 seconds left, game tied at 67. Chloe Jackson, she struggled tonight, but not on this possession. Hits the game when he lay up, and this game again, 12 lead changes, 12 ties. The Ducks missed 12 of their last 13 shots to end the game. Baylor will head to the national championship as they win 72-67. After the game, Ken Mulkey had one last message for her entire team. Ask them why they came to Baylor and all of them screamed to play for championships. I said, well, you're getting to play for a championship. We've won 20 Big 12 championships in my tenure there, uh, two national championships, and those kids in that locker room um, get to play for a championship. And while it's just those kids in the locker room, really it's all those other kids that are sitting in the stands that played for this program that are playing for that championship as well. And um, perseverance was a big word. You know, we persevered and um, we're playing Sunday. Y'all be here. I know you will. You no doubt we will be there. Of course, you talked about a lot of former players were here. Uh, you went in the locker room to talk to the current players. What was their reaction? Well, of course, it was extremely emotional in the locker room after the game. But luckily for us, it was happy emotions. Everyone was smiling. Everyone was excited. There was a little bit of dancing. There was some playing games. They were having a good time eating some chicken nuggets. They were having a great time. And I asked some of the girls if the fact that they are going to be playing for a national championship on Sunday, if that had sunk in yet, and su not surprisingly, it hasn't. It hasn't even sunk in yet. Honestly, I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, <clears throat> I'm just taking it all in. I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm just happy to be on this team. I'm happy to be here with this team. Uh, I just, I'm just loving on everybody right now. <laughs> It's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's it's a blessing, really. Um, we're still excited. We're going to be excited until the day comes. But, I mean, it was an amazing feeling when that clock hit 0-0 for sure. 
I don't even know how to explain. I'm, I'm still at a loss of words. I was at a loss of words when we got to the final four. So now that we're actually in the national championship, it's kind of like surreal. It's like I don't even, my, I can't feel my hands. Like I feel like my fingers are falling off. <laughs> Uh, same, same, Dee, same. I feel that way as well. Uh, and there were a lot of excited fans out here. Let's send it over to Curtis Quillen and Leslie Droppin, who caught up with some of those Lady Bear fans and talked about the excitement of the win. Uh oh. All right, guys. Yeah, we've caught up with some Baylor fans who had a blast during this game. Of course, it's always a lot more fun to watch your team when they win in the national semifinal, especially after, what, a 36-hour bus ride from Waco? Absolutely. We caught up with some of the students who had jumped on a bus, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and just driven the whole way here to Tampa, and they were, of course, extremely excited. Take a listen. Awesome. They all, the team did a great job. The coaches did a great job. Hey, way to go, Baylor. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels so good. It feels so, so good. We're going to Natty. We're going to the ship. Man, awesome. I mean, the Bears coming to play. Uh, credit also given to Oregon. They did come with their game plan, but evidently, Kim Mulkey and the team, they're doing it for the senior, Kalani Brown. My niece, Juicy. The rest of the Lady Bears, Waco, Texas, that was for you. All right, so now we need to talk about something else here. Yeah. This, so this was your first Lady Bears game. You know, it was. I'm almost ashamed to say this is my first, <laughs> but I also think it's really cool that this was the first. I mean, this was so intense. It was a nail biter for me. You know, we're supposed to be, you know, more unbiased because we're with the media. It's supposed to be more cool and calm and professional, and I was just there just so excited taking it all in, and I loved it. It's, it's hard to believe that your first Lady Bears game was a Final Four. Yeah, I know. You're, you're spoiled with I'm riches. Lucky. I'm a lucky person. And you know, <laughs> what also was so cool was catching up with, you know, Juicy Landrum's family when we walked out. You know, we didn't know what we were going to get. We didn't know if they were going to win. I mean, it was just down to the clutch. At, to the very, very end, it felt like. Yeah. And to experience that with them, that was so cool. And we'll have a lot more on that coming up in just a few minutes. We'll be right back from here in Tampa after this short break. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this.